Manchester United fans may not have too long to wait before Sir Jim Ratcliffe completes a full takeover. Sir Jim Ratcliffe's previous plan to gain a majority stake in Manchester United is a potential indicator of how long it could take him to buy out the Glazers' remaining shares. Ratcliffe is set to complete a deal for 25% of United with a view to sealing a phased takeover in the coming years. The Ineos CEO has fended off competition from Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani after the Qatari Royal withdrew from the process on Saturday. The United Board will reportedly meet on Thursday to vote on and ratify a £1.4 billion deal that will see Ratcliffe purchase 12.5% of the club's A shares and 12.5% of the Glazers' B shares. Given the American family's inflated valuation, it has emerged as the only way for a takeover candidate to put their foot in the door to eventually overthrow the Glazer regime. Ratcliffe initially offered around £5 billion for the United owner's 67% stake. But reluctance from Joel and Avram Glazer caused a delay that stretched the process across 11 months. According to the Times, Ratcliffe then offered an opportunity for the New Yorkers to retain almost 20% of their stake, provided he would be handed control of sporting decisions. But the Glazers stuck firm on their demands prompting further waves of bidding between Ratcliffe and Sheikh Jassim before the former revised his approach again by pursuing a minority stake of his own. That is the state of play now. The Glazers have retained majority control but are ready to hand the 70-year-old billionaire total control of United's football operations. There has been some objection among the fanbase based on a fear that Ratcliffe has enabled the unpopular regime which has loaded over £1 billion in debt on the club, to continue for years to come. But Ratcliffe reportedly put himself on the ladder with the view of completing a phased takeover, eventually buying out the remainder of the Glazers' shares. The Times add that he planned to inherit majority ownership at Old Trafford over the next two to four years in his previous offer. And Ratcliffe could be eyeing the same timescale with his revised approach something he may nod at once he breaks his silence over the deal. For now, he will be happy with taking the reins of United's football operations, given sporting performance is his and Ineos' priority across their involvement in different sports. But supporters will rightfully demand answers on the state of the club's future, which Ratcliffe must provide sooner rather than later.